In this video, rackets will be smashed, golf clubs will be launched, and we'll be diving with the sea. But today, we're winning medals for it. Welcome to Smashletics. We've taken these embarrassing yet highly entertaining moments in sport and turned them into an athletic championship. There are three events. Let it rip. A javelin style event where we must throw golf clubs as far as we can. The dive. Where we will get scored out of 10 for replicating football theatrics. And our last event. The 100 meter smash and dash where we must run and smash as fast as we can. Round one. Let it rip. Throw a golf club as far as you can. It must stay between this landing area. And if you step on this line, oh. you're out. Oh. It was left and I was over the line. You had putter and it was a massive fail. I'm going to go nine iron. Short club, a bit of weight to it. Okay? So I'm going to go with the four iron. This is the longest club in the bag, so hopefully it goes to bud. It's landed one. Is it clean throw? That's all it needed. 51.7. Oh, I'll take that for a first one. The only one in so far. It may be by default, but I've taken the early lead. To be fair, I was happy with the throw last time. I just went over the line and I didn't get it in. That's alright, it was in. Alright. Only two throws left, you need this one to count. What are you going for? Pitching wedge or putter. You're going to go one more round of, of iron, and then I think the next round I'm going to go putter. Right, let's channel my inner Sparta. 100. One. Good. 53 30. 53 meters and 30. He's taking the lead. Oh. <laughs> right, JJ, you got to follow that up. Last row wasn't too bad. It's not broke. Don't fix it. Four iron again. <laughs> Just stayed in there. 3328, I think that's about four centimeters short. Yeah. Okay, it's a little bit short. <laughs> Come on. Due to some physical launching advantages, Lauren gets a 15% boost in this event, meaning she's got a score of 43.41. And also, only our top score counts, which means Matt has stolen my lead. Final attempt. What are we going with? Before, I just need big 60 right now. Big 60. Oh no! Why? It was all about aggression and frustration. Now I feel more angry and frustrated having done the challenge. So, don't know if it has been now. What are you going for? We're going to go putter. Three foot putter to finish. Finish my 18 off. Can't get that wrong, Matthew! <laughs> Fifty-three point seven seven. Yes. Yes. Does that beat you in the lead? I think so. <laughs> yeah, it does. I think you got fifty-three seventy last time. Yeah, I think so. Come on. Jacob needs a big one for the end. Jacob does need a big one, and I. I don't think he's got the minerals. Right. Final go, 53.77 to beat. It feels like it's a bit of a game of margins at the minute. Gonna mix things up. Matt just threw the putter further so far, so I'm gonna go for it. Oh, it's just looking 
dodgy. Oh, it's just stayed in. I think it might have been too much height on that one. Yeah? Yeah, we'll see. 2 centimetres. <laughs> and like 2 measly centimetres. No. How's that make you feel? <laughs> Terrible. By a crucial 2 centimetres, Matt has won the first round and earned himself 300 points. 175 for me in second and 100 for Lauren. Round 2. The dive. For the second event, we must replicate three football dives. First dive, the Torres. For this round, we'll need Kelly, an independent and non-biased judge. Kelly will have to judge the approach and the dive itself, and then she'll score us out of 10 depending on how well she thinks we replicated the dive. Let's run it back. So he looks over the left shoulder, check, clips his own heels, check, but he has forgotten something, and I'm not talking about the body rotation. Let it rip was the first round man. He's got a squeaky bum, 7.1. I think I nailed it to be honest. <laughs> Next up to face the Torres is Lauren. It was a tricky oh, no! start for her in round one, but this could be her event if she can just stay focused. Well, she's definitely tickled Kelly, but is it for the right reasons? Here's the replay. As we see her jolt from left to right and then take a tumble, it's clear to me that she's nailed the impression. Just not necessarily the right one. She couldn't run straight, it's a 6.8. Women just don't dive as much, I don't know. Last to face the Torres is me. Have a wiggle. Salute the gods. Good to go. Now self-doubt would usually be a strong point of mine, but the head turn was good, the leg flick was there, and the body rotation was okay. This one felt good. It was a solid run, 9.1. After the first attempt, it's me that's managed to take another early lead, but for this event, all our scores will be accumulated. It's good to see Matt releasing his unwanted air before the run this time. That's not a mistake you want to make twice. He takes his left foot back, hits the ground and goes overhead first. Regretfully, that was pretty good. It's hard to disagree, 9.3. I feel like I nailed the action of falling over my own foot. Just gonna leave that there. Oh, where am I going? Right, run straight, straight arms, straight legs, straight arms, straight legs, straight arms. She's still yet to master the tricky art form of running, but it's another fascinating attempt by Lauren, and regardless of how she scored, our judge is clearly enjoying the show. She got lost in her tricks. It's a 5.6. I was ahead after round one, but I now needed to leapfrog past Matt again. Despite my strange opening dance number as I trotted into the middle, I do think I got all of the elements, but most importantly, what could Kelly see? He added something new, 8.2.
That's two dives down and only one left to go. With a total of 17.3, I have the lead, but it's not by much. The last dive we must recreate was a comical dive by a player called Brian Carrasco. There could be some arguments that this is a two-person dive, however we will be performing this solo, so Kelly will have to judge us on creativity and entertainment alone. There's a lot at stake with this dive, for most of us. I need to stay ahead to make this a contest going into the final event. It's time for the results and for Matt to extend his lead from round one and win this event, he's gonna need a good score here from the wife. Oh, and he does, 9.2. Save a miracle, Lauren is set to come third again in this event. But as you can see, that hasn't knocked her enthusiasm. A 9.8, that's the highest of the competition. I did have a slender lead coming into this final round, but I now need an 8.4 or higher to win this event and extend the competition. We're two rounds down and only one to go. Lauren's on 200 points, but me and Matt are now tied on 475 points each. This last event is now crucial in deciding which one of us will be crowned the first ever Athletics Champion. The final round, the 100 meter smash and dash. The final event is a sprint to the line. However, in our sprint at the 25, 50 and 75 meter mark, there'll be tennis rackets that we must smash. The rackets must include a break in the frame before we can move on, and the first person across this line wins. Three, two, one. Looked like a decent run. How do you feel it went? My technique is obviously quite consistent, quite solid. Um, I've had a lot of practice. A man that's done it before. Yeah, I've done it a couple of times before. Um, <laughs> it was good to uh, get back to old habits. Well done, good run. An unofficial world record of 26.08 seconds. But is a world record gonna be good enough? Lauren, next up. Three, two, one. I've been coming up hot for a minute. Um, I obviously had a lot of anger scale with my first one and then it got progressively worse or my rackets got progressively stronger. Well it's another unofficial female world record for Lauren at 29.10, however in this event she gets a 15% boost which means she's now taking the lead with 24.74. This is it, one run left, three rackets left to smash and only one gold medal to play for. I've never smashed a racket before, um, so I've hit a few, I've hit a few, I've never gone through one like this, so decent run I think. And the winner of the first ever Smash Athletics Games is... 
the, the win and seal the victory of Smash Athletics 2023. Ah, bah, bah, bah.